If you guys are wanting to build a better team like this, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, then look no further than u7buy.com. They sell cheap and reliable foot 22 coins and they also sell foot accounts this year. So if you're interested, click the link in the top line of the description and use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Yes guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video we are back with the sniping filter videos. We are going to be doing these very regularly throughout FIFA 23. So if you're looking to make a lot of coins throughout FIFA 23, especially over the next few months, uh, make sure to subscribe. That would be appreciated. So um, I am recording this at about half six. The web app is still not out. We're still waiting for the web app. So I'm going to get this done before the web app comes out. There is a ton of filters boys. So if you want some more filters, I'm going to record some more over on my second channel. My second channel is Foot Central, so if you want to go subscribe to that for extra uh, content, then you can. So, um, I've got about seven filters, I believe, today, so we're going to jump into the first seven. Some of them will be very cheap, hopefully, um, and then some of them might be a little bit more expensive. Obviously, it's not going to be the easiest to trade on the web app, uh, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, just in your, in your welcome backpacks, I'd highly recommend selling everything and just trade through that. Um, so we're going to start off with a PSG filter. Uh, we're going to head over to uh, League Earn uh, and then PSG. Obviously, you'll do this on the web app. Or if you're watching this when the game's out, then obviously you'll type it in into the transfer market. So we're going to go to League Earn, PSG, and then we're going to go to Portuguese. So um, this is very, very solid this year because they've signed quite a few Portuguese. Obviously, they already had Nuno Mendes. They already had Danilo Pereira, who's both 80 rated. Uh, but they've added Renato Sanchez and Vitinha. Um, to the gallery, to the club, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yes, really solid filter. They're all around this 80 rated mark. Hopefully they're required in an SPC or something like that. Um, but I can imagine Nuno Mendes will 100% be worth quite a lot more. So he'll be the jackpot. Um, and then the other three, I think even Renato Sanchez will be very expensive as well, to be fair. Uh, so I think you're mainly sniping between Pereira and Vitinha. But it's nice to have a jackpot of Renato Sanchez and Nuno Mendes. Um, so yeah, solid filter to start us off. Um, into the next filter, let's clear all. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking to my left because I've saved all the uh, pictures on the left. Um, this next one's actually going to be quite a tidy one all year round pretty much because they're both the same rating and it should be very solid. So we're going to go to Premier League and we're going to go to Chelsea for the next one. Um, and this time we're going to go to Spanish. So I believe, yeah, literally just Spanish. Um, and we've got three players that can pop up. If Kepa is too cheap, obviously we can type in Defender uh, to get rid of Kepa and we're going to just snipe between Cucurella and Aspilicueta. I think them two alone are going to be really solid to snipe between. Um, but if Kepa's expensive as well, we may as well just go Chelsea Spanish. We've got no Saul in the filter anymore, but still very solid. Kepa, Cucurella and Aspilicueta in this filter. Um, I'd imagine that Cucurella might be a little bit more than the other two, but uh, probably not by much. He does look quite solid, Cucurella, though, as a centre-back, because he can translate it to a centre-back. I think he looks quite quite solid for a left centre back or something so yeah solid little Chelsea filter um, for the next one so that's pretty solid um, let's jump into the third filter we're going to jump into an Argentinian filter uh, once again we'll go to the Prem I have got some filters outside the Prem don't worry uh, so we'll mix it up a little bit but we're going to go to the Premier League we're going to go to Argentinian this time um, which is solid and then we're going to go to centre back uh, so we've got to centre back. There's three players that can pop up. We have got um, Senesi, who's recently transferred to Bournemouth. We've got Lissandro Martinez, and we've also got Romero at Spurs. So um, this should be mainly between Martinez and Senesi, I believe. I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Premier League Argentinians are going to be interesting because of the advanced SBCs, like the hybrid nations, the hybrid leagues, and the league of nation hybrid. There's always like random Argentinians from the Prem. Um, I think Julian Alvarez probably will be quite demanded. So. Don't be surprised if some of these do go up quite a bit in price, I think. Um, so they might be really nice to snipe. This should be a really nice filter, to be fair. Um, but it will mainly be between Senesi and Martinez with Romero as the jackpot. Because I think Romero probably will, looking at his card. Decent stats. He'll probably be worth a little bit more than the uh, the other two. So uh, that's the next filter. Pretty solid. I think we're going to go to a different league for the next filter. Uh, we're going to head over to the Bundesliga this uh, for the next one. So let's head over to... Uh, the Bundesliga, and then we're going to jump over to France. We're going to jump over to France, uh, centre back, and then all gold. I don't know if that now that that's not required, but um, there's a lot of players that could pop up in this filter actually. Uh, Lucas Hernandez, Upamecano, them two specifically, they're going to be miles up in price. So you'd have to get very very lucky um, to uh, snipe them. I've actually just thought of a filter, but give me a second. Um, but yeah, literally Lacroix, Simakan, Pavard, and Endicca. 
Um, they all should be hopefully around the same price. It should be a really, really solid filter. Um, I mean, Lacroix, I don't know how much he's going to cost. He looks a beast, to be fair, Lacroix, once again. Uh, and then Dika looks very good as well. 81 rated, wow. So this could be a really solid filter, to be fair. Quite an undercover one as well. So uh, this is one I'll definitely give a try out. Um, and it looks really solid. But the filter I've just thought of, you could go Bayern Munich centre-back and snipe between Lucas Hernandez and Upper Meccano. Uh, you could get rid of Pavard by going centre-back. If them two are similar in price, which there's a possibility they could be. I know they're different ratings, um, but they, there's a possibility they could be the same sort of price. So if they are... If you're on a higher budget, that could be an insane filler. I've got a feeling that'll be a really good filter. So um, that's one to keep an eye on. So there's another one. Um, so we'll get down to the last few. Right, this next one is a pretty sick one. So this one worked last FIFA, but we've got an extra player in the filter now. So we're going to go to Premier League once again. Uh, this time we're going to go to Spurs. I might have to type in... Oh yeah, Spurs comes up. Uh, so Spurs, and then last year we went Brazil, and it was only two players that popped up. But this year we've got Richarlison in there as well, because he's uh, obviously transferred... Um, in the uh, in the summer, so we've got Emerson, who's seventy eight rated. We've got Lucas Moura and Richarlison, and once again, not only are the decent players, maybe not Emerson, but uh, I could tell you for a fact these are going to be needed in like hybrid nations, hybrid league. So I imagine there'll be quite a bit of demand for some of them. So I think this will be an insane filter. I really do. Early doors, you should make absolute bank off this filter. Um, Emerson, pff, I would say Emerson will be the cheapest, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's in an SBC that pushes him up in price. So I think all three of these, hopefully, will be a healthy price. And the more they are, the better, really. Um, so a solid low-budget filter to uh, to keep an eye out on, boys. Uh, so that's that one. How many more filters we've got? We've got we've got two more, to be fair. Uh, one of them's going to be... To be fair, these last two are going to be a bit of a higher-budget one. So once we get a coin balance. But we're going to go over to the Syria. Uh, the good thing about these filters as well, boys, you don't have to use them straight away because obviously we're all going to be on a low budget. Uh, but just remember some of them. Uh, so once you've got a decent budget, um, I think some of these will work sick. Uh, so we're going to go to the Syria. We're going to go to Juventus. They've actually got Juventus this year. Uh, and we're going to go to Serbia, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go to Serbia. And it's basically, we're going to be sliding between Kostic, who looks quite decent as well. Uh, not too bad, too fair. And also Vlahovic as well, who I'm hoping... They will be similar in price. I know they're a different rating, but uh, I've got a feeling they might be around, around and about the same price. And they should hopefully be a really nice, uh, really nice duo to snipe, to be fair. So that's one to keep an eye on. Um, I'm hoping they're not too expensive, maybe around 10 to 15k max. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the market is this year, because it was obviously very cheap last year. Uh, but uh, that's one to keep an eye on. Happy days. Okay, and into the final filter. This is going to, going to be a higher tier filter. And this is another filter that worked very, very good last FIFA. But boys, this this filter is going to work better than ever, this FIFA. Because all three are the exact same rating, uh, which was not the case last FIFA. So we're going to go to Premier League once again. Um, this time we're going to go to Man City. And then we're going to go to Portuguese. Um, so this will give us three players. We've got all three at 88 rated, which is insane. Cancelo will be through the roof early doors, though. Um, this filter will work probably a lot better when Cancelo does come down in price, but uh, it's mainly going to be between Diaz and Bernardo Silva, I believe. Uh, but even Bernardo early doors is going to cost a lot. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see their price. Uh, but either way, this is one to just keep an eye out on. Maybe not early doors, it'll be the most insane, but uh, down the line, this will be sick. Cancelo, Diaz, Silva, all 88 rated. Should be pretty, pretty solid. Um, but yeah, that is the filters for today, boys. Let me know which of the filters um, will be working best for you. Obviously, in the first week or so, it'll be better to use some of the lower tier ones um, while you've got them like 10 to 20k range. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see how many coins we can make on the web app. Hopefully, the web app is out very soon. Let's do a quick refresh. Uh, it's nearly 7pm and we've still not got the web app. So yeah. Hopefully it's out soon, boys. So, yeah, good luck if you're sniping on the web app. It's not going to be the easiest. I think there's probably going to be a few bots on there, but uh, hopefully we're up to speed. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.